All right, the Reds talking Reds on Tuesday. Uh, bank holidays over and done with. The weekend's over and done with. And the countdown to Madrid starts here in earnest. Uh, I'm Gareth Roberts. I've got Lizzie with me. Uh, we're going to have a chat about all the latest news around the Champions League, which includes the fact that Harry Kane, when he wasn't dribbling down his chin, has declared himself fit <laughs> for the game. Um, his manager never seemed that convinced by this, though. I thought it was interesting because th this has been on my mind, the Harry Kane thing. I I don't think it's that mad to say either. I actually want him to start. I, I, Rather I, than the fear of him coming off the bench. Just because I don't think Spurs are as good, to be honest, with, with him in the side. I think the likes of Son ups his game when Kane's not about. And I, I think Son's absolutely brilliant. He's the one I'm up nights about. Whereas Kane, with a dodgy ankle, five times injured on it and all the rest of it, telling his manager he's sound because he wants to play in the Champions League final. I'm kind of sound if he announces himself fit because I don't think he probably is. I think I think you're right. It, it feels a little bit like when when Klopp forced Firmino on the other day, and it was clearly he wasn't fit. But you wonder if it's like a psychological thing because I think they know it's been playing on our minds. It's probably been playing on Klopp's mind because I think the team will will have to sort of change the way that they play if Harry Kane plays compared mm. to obviously if he doesn't. Um, if if Son and Mora are up top. Um, I can't no, imagine he well. start. I can't imagine he starts Lorente. Um, no. If Harry Kane wasn't fit, I don't think Lorente starts. Um, more, so for me, the 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 worry I had would be Harry Kane coming off the bench, uh, and I think that's just because it's just an added edge. And to me, he, he's mad Harry Kane, and he, I feel yeah. like he's he's a little bit like an FA Cup final type of player, and I feel like. Would he be? Would it be Sod's law that he'd come off and 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 do a Harry Kane against mm. us? Um, I know what you mean. I don't think. I, I think he's a great goal scorer, but I think like you, he's probably not fully fit. If he plays from the start, he gets knackered, he gets frustrated, and he gets lumped off for for a, a, a shitter version of him in Levante. Um, so I'm absolutely fine if you wanted to clear yourself fit, Harry. I think see how you get on. Joel Matip will be all over you anyway. <laughs> Joe Matter's been absolutely brilliant, so yeah, precisely. I, th I think he's on the bench, me. Uh, elsewhere, Liverpool wise, uh, there is a big media day at Melwood today. Spurs have done theirs, which is why this information's out there already. Liverpool's turn now, the manager, players, etc., will be, will be available for interviewing stuff. The Anfield app are going down there as well, so we're going to get some stuff, so that would be great, so look out for that. Uh, also, as well, uh, news in terms of the fan parks announced the Plaza Philippe II. Uh, we'll host the Shevchenko Park <laughs> 2.0 if you like uh, with performances from Gibb O'Neill will be there again uh, the lads from Boss Night will be there as well they had a big night in town last night looked fantastic Chelsea Grimes is there John Powers there he's fucking brilliant uh, and Colin Murray's there too uh, so it sounds like it'll be a boss laugh there uh, Shevchenko Park if you weren't there in Kiev was absolutely brilliant you've probably seen the videos if you weren't there really great really well organised good to see the club working with fans and that's happening again it seems so that's Boss um, we're going to have a little break now. Um, I'm, I'm knackered from all that talking, so uh, in the middle, uh, before we come back and have a bit of a chat about p potential transfers, uh, we've made a nice little video, and it's a nice little video about what the Amphir app is. Now, you probably know, but, uh, but we've been doing this for a while now. We've been doing this since 2011. It was slightly before that when we actually came up with the idea and talked about it and dreamt up names and how it would work and everything else. Been a big journey to get to 2019, so this is a little bit about the journey, about what's next, and about what the Anfield app is all about. One of the biggest podcasts in all of football in the world is the Anfield Wrap, yeah. started by the fans for the fans. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by John Gibbons and Craig Hannon from the Anfield Wrap podcast to discuss... George is here, I'm going to speak to Gareth Roberts from the Anfield Wrap podcast. And this is the Anfield Wrap. Great work what you do on the Anfield Wrap, by the way. Nice and the Anfield Wrap are here, Neil Atkinson and Gibbo. Hey, fellas. I'm joined in the studio by Neil Atkinson from the uh, Anfield Wrap. Morning, Neil. Football fans have always had a strong voice in the game, and rightly so, whether that was forums, whether that was fanzines, whether that was Ins, but we felt there was room for something more. We felt there was room for a podcast exclusively about Liverpool by match going fans who go home and away watching the Reds all over the land and all around the world. Where it went from there was a radio show, where it went from there was a website, where it went from there was a series of podcasts and then a subscription service. And here we are now in 2019. The Anfield Rap is going from strength to strength. We're going to keep on challenging the way media is done. We're going to keep on coming up with new ideas. That's what the Anfield Rap's always been about. That's what the Anfield Rap will always be about. 
It is the pink after Liverpool beat Chelsea 2-0 and what a goal, what a moment from Mo Salah. Liverpool Football Club have got one of the most passionate fan bases in the world. We know supporters all around the world every week are tuning in to watch Liverpool. You eat, breathe and sleep the football club. But you can't all be at Anfield every week as much as I'm sure you'd like to be. And that's where the Anfield Wrap come in. We're sharing the journey of supporting Liverpool right here from the heart of the city. With every game, home, away, Europe. If you play a game on the moon, we'll get there somehow. We'll always be covering it and we'll always be sharing the journey of support in Liverpool and we hope you come with us. It's another tour special on the day when Liverpool face down Barcelona in the second leg of We've the got immediate post-match reaction, audio and video. We have a second look video that looks back at the game after a couple of days. We've got our review which does the same thing via audio. We've got the stat show that we do now via video. You name it, we've got every single game covered. So we've got transfer news, transfer reaction and transfer rumours all the way through the summer, all the way through every transfer window. We look at the bigger picture, we speak to other clubs we've got everything that you need oh and now we've got an app it's Liverpool Man United it's the biggest game of the season the most watched game I believe so here we are where we always are at the match at Anfield but we go home we go away we go to Europe we go to friendlies we go to the pre-season we do everything around Liverpool Football Club and that's why we do it to bring you closer to this to bring you closer to the match day if you can't make it you might be from Kenny you might be from Kenya wherever you're from we make it better. We tell you what it's like to be here if you can't be here. And maybe you can be here and you just want to relive it all again because it's been boss. Nothing wrong with that either, but that's what the Anfield Rap is all about. Okay, so that's the Anfield Rap. If you didn't know, loads of exciting stuff to come. Loads more video, loads more podcasts, and just loads more ideas in general. We're always looking to sort of move on and do new stuff and keep it all going. Live shows as well, of course. Uh, anyway, transfer chat, it is that time of year. Uh, it's easy to forget all this with the excitement for Madrid. Uh, 70,000 Reds apparently going to Madrid. Estimates I saw this morning, which will be madness, won't it? Uh, town as well is going to be absolutely mad. All the bars, I guess, will be getting extra ale in for this weekend. There's flags everywhere, there's scarves everywhere, it's really ramping up. But in the meantime, there is still papers to fill and gossip columns to fill and all the rest of it. So we've got this kind of chat. So Leon have said Fakia is leaving. Uh, Do you see anything in that? I mean, it was an absolute saga that, wasn't it? And mm. it was like, it seemed it was done and there was the little weird video that went round that looked as though he was definitely coming. Then there was the news about his knee and then there was the, the denials and the, you know, he said, she said, they said, and then it never happened. I kind of feel it's probably gone me. I, I can't really see it being revived because surely he's still got the same knee to yeah. start. Yeah, if that's true. So, by the way, somewhere in the world, Rob Gutman's just me cattered at the sound of the game. <laughs> I know, yeah. What? What? Um, nah, it's not. I can't see it happening. And it's like, you know, there's been a lot of even transfers talk about the likes of Coutinho as well. And I think they're both in the same either. thing. I just don't think. I just don't think it's a fit. I think maybe last year, maybe before the news of his knee come out, he, you know, Klopp really was considering him, but Klopp's using the phrase mentality monsters about our players, and I think that's he needs anyone he signs to fit into that size and fit into, you know, that group of players and have the same mentality as them. And you know, if you you, know, you look at like sometimes where we've been a bit bare in midfield, even like. I know he's not amazing, but even like sometimes where you think, oh, we could do with a bit of an Adam Lallana, never fit. We've we struggled with injury with Naby Keita, um, picked up injuries quite a fair bit this year, and I don't think you can rely on someone who might have. Exactly. An, don't it might one. be injury prone, yeah. and it might he might be an excellent player, but you know, is 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 he that good that you can maybe go? Well, at least we'll get we'll get three months out of however many, however many months we've got, but. You don't know when those injuries will fall, at what time, if they'll cross over, if it's when we're you know, trying to go for three competitions at once. I think for the ambition of this football club, um, with finishing as close as we did in the league, going on to potentially win a Champions League, if we win the Champions League, the ambition will be to do the double next year. And I think you need players you can rely on, and I, I don't personally think it's for gear. And you've got Chamberlain <laughs> to come back and contribute and hopefully yeah. have a, a full season next season, fit, and he's not, you know... It's what, like a new signing, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah, so you know, you've got him as well. So we'll see, but I mean, yeah, personally, I'm giving that five turds out of five. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, PSG uh, reportedly interested in signing uh, Jimmy Milner on a free. A uh, bit of a mad one, this. Um, it, again, I don't really see it. It sort of seems like he's either going to settle here or maybe go elsewhere in this country. 
seems a bit late for him to be going there and I don't, I don't know I mean there was a big rumour wasn't there that if Leeds came up he was going to go to Leeds and to me that ticked loads of boxes you know it's where he's from he yeah, loves yeah. that club he was there you know he's playing for the money 16 or whatever and all the rest of it so you know that's deep rooted love for a club and you know loads of players do that don't they they go back and have that last hurrah and I thought he might do that PSG though I don't know. I, I mean, Liverpool beat them the shit. Um, I, I can't see that one. Can you see that one? No, the, the only thought process I had is to, if he, for one, if they were interested and he wanted to go, would be he's, end, you know, he's come to the end of his career. He's only played in England, hasn't he? Mm. I mean, you know, he, if they offered him a one year, you know, would, would you just go stuff it? I'm going to go and live in Paris for a year. But James Milner, with the way, I think he comes across as a really humble, down-to-earth, genuine fella. I think he just couldn't be arsed with, like, Neymar and all that. Yeah, it doesn't and, really and fit. It's, it's, a, it's a big, money-built club. There's there's a ton of pressure on the Champions League, and if you don't deliver this, you're worth nothing. And I just think... I don't think it fits his attitude and mentality. Um, plus, he only speaks Spanish. He doesn't speak French. I know. There's a big <laughs> interview over the weekend, if you missed it. Uh, it was with Oliver Holt, uh, who's Emily Bishop's lad. <laughs> I uh, which I, I I'm not getting over I this. This blew my mind. I just revealed this to Lizzie, and she wasn't having it. And I, had to, I had to get it up on Google to prove it. But, yeah, Oliver Holt, his mum is Emily Bishop. Only in because she's... Emily Bishop... Bishop in Cardi, I'm sure she's in like Peru. I'm sure she's like she's she's like torn and South America. Emily Bishop is in somewhere in the world. Um, she was with Norris, but poor Norris passed away. So God rest his soul. Eddie Yates was my favourite in uh, Cardi for obvious reasons <laughs> for it, for for Cardi fans out there. But yeah, he, he did an excellent interview with uh, James Milner. It talked about various things, including his, teaching his children Spanish. But um, he also talked about sort of, you know, Messi calling him a donkey, um, just in general, Liverpool. Um, it, it, was, it was a good interview, and look, you know, I wouldn't often recommend that you go and peruse the Daily Mail, but in this circumstance, it's worth it because it was a good interview. Um, elsewhere out there, um, according to Josh on this agenda, Matip could be offered a new contract according to Football Insider. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, according to them, whoever they are, he could be offered a new contract. I mean, that doesn't seem like a massive leap. No. He was superb in, in the latter couple of months of the season. Um, done a great job, got better and better. And I really don't see why you'd get rid, really. I mean, we've been linked with a load of centre-halves, so it's a bit like, well, we've got him. Uh, we've got Gomez, we've got Van Dijk. Love for him, for me, would be the one that you may yeah. be saying is now looking to, to move on. Mm. Uh, Matter, yeah, give him a contract. Happy I, days. I'm more than happy with giving Matter a contract. And, you know, I, I am one of those people, I, I, I will hold my hands up when I'm wrong. And at the start of the season, I, I said that I think that Lovren's the better player over Matter. And I think coming into the season, he was off the back of last season. Um, you know, he was the one playing alongside Van Dijk. It was and Gomez. Gomez comes in, was excellent. Um, but it seems to be Matter. That's that you know he, to me he's he's your next one after Gomez and Van Dijk I think he's an absolute chew in and I think the way that Klopp plays the way he rotates the way that he you know I don't think we'll get like another right back I think left back's more of a not an issue because obviously we've got Andy Robertson but I think we need left back cover more cool. than right back but he, he knows he's happy winning. to move Gomez out to the right and then you're more than happy for Matip to step in there um, for me I think it's often that goes not Matip mm. and there's that mad stat which blew, still blows my mind that in this whole career Lovren's not played more than six games at a time and surely Klopp's looking at that going and like I think he likes Lovren I think he mm. likes his attitude I think he's quite funny I think he's good spirited and I think that I think Klopp likes that a lot, but surely you can't. You can't again. have a, yeah. You can't have a centre half made of crisps because it's <laughs> it, it, it's it's a position where you've got to be tough. Uh, you look at Van Dijk and like you know he's played every game and he's a fella who he's done interviews through the season where he's basically said you have to play through knocks, you have yeah. to play through pain. You hear Robinson saying the same. That's what that's what you need from your players. And it, it, I don't know, we're not all the same, are we? Some people feel pain more than others and stuff like that. But we definitely need a centre after that more often than not. Is fit? Is that love room? Probably, probably not. Uh, <laughs> Other Anfield rap stuff then, um, Phil Scraton, who's a boss fella and an absolute hero around Hillsborough, uh, has done a special show with the Anfield rap, uh, picking his favourite goals um, th through Liverpool history or through his Liverpool history. Quite nice to get Phil in and do something like that and get him to talk about something a little bit different. Uh, if you don't know who Phil is, look him up. Tireless campaigner for Hillsborough, wrote a book uh, called The Truth, which is brilliant. And if you don't know all the backstory of Hillsborough, that is the place to go. Uh, so check that out, that's out 
at now or soon? It'll be out, yeah, it'll be out today yep. uh, and it's for free as well, so um, get on it. He was absolutely brilliant, really Feels humble. Um, really amazing st amazing story about Billy Little, by the way. Oh, yeah. um, Billy Little was the club accountant. Really? Yeah, so he was the star player. So, it, it, so I, it's, it's basically the equivalent of Mo Salah doing the sponsorship. And he just walked into the office and said, I, Billy, have been sent from a company. Billy Little went, no, you haven't. And he went, I know, you're just my hero. And he's there doing the club accounts. Um, he's got boss stories. Um, no, one, was, no, wonder it, no wonder that the club was called Liddlepool. And if he was <laughs> literally doing every job that, that was going. Listen, uh, a load of people from the Anfield app as well are getting on the bus tonight, going to Madrid. So there'll be loads of content, as there was for Kiev, around that. So podcast, video, all the rest of it from the bus, documenting the journey to Madrid. Madrid itself, the final itself, it's a good time to get on board and get involved and live the life of a Liverpool fan and consume literally everything about the Reds uh, that's where we are now uh, last of all as well just because I'm on and, I, and it's me and, and I like them I want to say nice one to Tranmere Rovers because I'm, <laughs> I'm absolutely made up that they got promoted I wrote something for the site today telling about my little secret love for Tranmere Rovers and the fact that I always used to go over there on a Friday made up that they're back up in League One they deserve it Palios is sound it's a good little club it's great for footballers in this area as well to have something else to aim for some, somewhere else to go and play wasn't quite the same when they were on League bit weird that so well into them well into the Reds, well into the rap, loads of stuff. Oh, and one more thing, um, we've got a boss app. We've been shouting about this loads. Soz, if it's starting to annoy you, but we're dead <laughs> proud of it. It cost a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of investment, both from the Anfield app, from Pixel Beard, who did it for us. But we're made up with the results. We want you to have a go of it. We want to know what you think of it. Uh, it's available on all the usual platforms, all the usual ways that you get an app. So look up the Anfield app in the App Store, etc. Let us know what you think. Uh, and yeah. That's been Talking Reds. Up the fucking Reds.